Hydrangeas have been uh, identified as probably one of the most popular uh, garden plants for this, this decade. It's a very, very popular plant and there's uh, good reasons for that. Uh, when they're in flower uh, in the uh, May-June uh, time frame, they're really hard, hard to beat. In Arkansas, probably the two most popular species or varieties that we grow would include uh, the oak leaf hydrangea and second, the big leaf hydrangea. Probably the number one question that we get regarding hydrangeas is when do I prune them? So with oak leaf hydrangea and big leaf hydrangea, um, you want to wait until they finish flowering. So probably in the September time frame, you would, uh, it's okay to, uh, to prune those uh, if you're going to do any significant pruning. Now, the other uh, uh, lesser known uh, hydrangeas in the state, the panicle uh, uh, hydrangea flowers on new wood, just like a crepe myrtle. So we can be fairly aggressive in pruning in early spring and still have a very nice flower display in the summertime. In general, we think of hydrangeas as being a shade-loving plant, shade-requiring plant, and that is clearly true with the big leaf hydrangeas. Um, as uh, the oak leaf hydrangea is certainly more tolerant of uh, sun than the big leaf, and the most sun tolerant is the panicle hydrangea. It performs very well in full sun conditions. Many of us know that we can uh, adjust the color with many of the mop heads by uh, adjusting our soil pH. Uh, if you notice that the flowers on your big leaf hydrangeas are uh, pink or deep red uh, and you want to have the blue, then you need to apply some type of a material that will acidify the soil. And the most truly, the most common material that we would uh, use would be uh, elemental sulfur and it's sold in a, in a, a small bag and you just simply follow, uh, follow directions. Probably the recommended thing would be to have a soil, uh, garden soil test, uh, conduct that, find out what your soil pH is near your hydrangea and then that report will tell you, uh, uh, give you a recommendation on how to adjust that soil pH accordingly.